Touching a minor when recording a show. Comment below. Let us know what you think regarding the subject matter at hand. So let's see right here. Uh, Jamie Rivera asks, I am a YouTuber and one of my assistants was a minor. Several times she flirted with me and one day she started touching me. I responded, not knowing that she didn't turn off the cameras when we were touching each other. I fired her and now she keeps threatening me that she will tell the police if I do not keep her on payroll. Yeah, this is a hell of a dilemma here because, um, see, I need to know the age of this minor because uh, if we're talking about, uh, you know, touching, even though it's with consent, this, uh, if the minor is over the age of 16, but still under 18, of course, this would be a violation of California Penal Code Section 288 a um, 288C1, which is a felony that carries up to three years of state prison. However, if you have evidence indicating that she is extorting you, where she's telling you, hey, I have these recordings and I'm going to, uh, you know, call the cops if you don't keep me on payroll. Well, then, hey, that's a violation for her of Penal Code Section 520, which is a felony that carries up to four years and for her it would be four years at a juvenile correction facility extortion um you're at a bit of a stalemate here uh but um i would uh, suggest that uh you take action especially if there are uh if there's evidence that you're being extorted i would say take action and report this to the police as soon as possible generally speaking when somebody um, is being extorted, even when it comes to uh, you know, being accused of having committed a crime, generally speaking, if there is evidence of that happening, the DA's office will, generally speaking, file charges against the person who is doing the extortion, not necessarily against the person uh, who is the extorted party, even though that person may have committed a crime. Now, if we're talking about something like a murder or something like that, uh, that, well, that's going to be a little bit different. They're going to file against both. But in this situation, considering that she is a minor, but if she's over the age of, now, if we're talking about a minor who's 12, we're going to have a problem. But if we're talking about 16, 17, eh, there's a good bet that the DA will just go after her because her offense is more egregious than yours. Regardless, if you'd like to learn more about criminal defense here in the San Francisco Bay Area, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates, and feel free to ask questions in the comments section below so that we may respond in the future with more videos for you. But if you've been accused of a crime here in the San Francisco Bay Area and need representation, give us a call for free consultation at 1-800-862-7677. Once again, one 800 862 7677 On our next video, we're going to be discussing somebody who did not fulfill their court orders. Have a good day.